Hi, it's Pastor Paul L. Anderson here at the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, where we believe God's blessings never stop flowing. It is Marvelous Monday. I want to take a quick moment to say thank you all who watched us at the seven o'clock virtual service. Thank you for liking and sharing and sending to us your comments and telling everyone about the goodness of the Lord. Thank you for those who worship with us in person and those who saw us uh, through the live stream. We hope and pray that it was a blessing to you. It's always a blessing to share the presence of God with those in the world. Today, I invite you to look with me at 1 Timothy, the sixth chapter, verses 11 and 12. Paul gives some final instructions. You know, Paul had this person that he that you would call his mentee, his son in the ministry. You know, we had the opportunity yesterday to talk about God's goodness and about how God loves us and how God wants us to win. Well, Paul wins the battle by becoming an example to Timothy. He tells Timothy something that Timothy needs to hear and Timothy needs to understand. Paul was getting to the portion in his ministry that he knew that the end was coming, but he wants to remind him to keep on fighting. You know, yesterday in the message, we talked about how we win, but here he tells Timothy, you are a man of God and you need to run from all those evil things. Pursue righteousness and the good life, along with faith, love, perseverance and gentleness. Fight the good fight for the truth of the faith and holding tightly to eternal life, which God has called you to. Well, Paul's about to leave the scene and he tells Timothy, my son, I want to give you some good instructions. I want to make sure that I give you just what you need to go forward. He first of all tells him you are a man of God. You need to know that you're called. You know, God has called us all. All of us have different callings. Not all of us stand behind a pulpit. Not all of us uh, write books. Not all of us have podcasts. Not all of us do all those other things. But God has given some of us the opportunity to do that. But in all that we do, we have to live a godly life. And we must always have faith in our practice. We believe in God. And for that reason, we can't help but love everybody around us. So he tells Timothy, Timothy, I want to make sure that you persevere that you always operate with love. You've won the fight, so fight the good fight of faith. He calls it a good fight. You know, a good fight is a fight that you fight because you know you've already won. Well, you and I have won the victory over death, hell, and the grave because of what Jesus did for us at Calvary. So all we have to do is keep on holding our ground. He tells them, hold tightly to eternal life because God has called you and you are declared to share the good news to everybody as a witness. Today, I want to remind you, be a witness of the goodness of God. Tell everybody about what God has done and then they will already know what the instructions are for living. You know, there were Paul's final instructions, but every day it needs to be our daily instructions. You know, somebody said the Bible becomes those basic instructions before leaving earth. May you and I read the Bible that we'll have the instructions and we'll do what God has called us to do. You are exceedingly and abundantly blessed. Take the Lord with you everywhere you go and we'll talk with you again on tomorrow. To sow a seed to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, visit our newly redesigned website, thefountainofraleigh.org, and select Sow a Seed from the homepage. Also, giving has been made easier with the new Fountain of Raleigh app, available now in the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. Download today, select Giving from the main menu, and then follow the directions to complete your giving through Subsplash. Thank you so very much for all of your gifts and donations that you've given to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship. We thank you for what you've done in the past, what you're currently doing, and what you will do in the future. Your gifts and donations helps us to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ, not only locally, but throughout the world. Thank you again for your gifts, and may God continue to richly bless you. It is here at the Fountain that we believe that we are exceedingly and abundantly blessed, and may you receive those blessings that God has in store for you. Okay.